Hi guys, welcome to my another Fusion 360 tutorial. And today we're gonna make a sketch according to our picture with another words canvas. So for today's example, I'm gonna use our trash can, which doesn't have any name for plastic, paper or food. And for me, it's very confusing where is what, even after long period of using it. So we're gonna take picture of this silver part, preferably 90 degrees, something like that. Then we have to measure our future sketch, in our case 80 millimeters. So now that we know we need 8 centimeters wide canvas, we're gonna create a sketch on the XY plane. I'm gonna choose line, then I'm gonna select construction. I'm gonna place my line on the X axis, 80 millimeters long. And then I simply hit enter. Then I'm gonna choose midpoint constrain to make my line exactly in the center. I'm gonna click on the line and the center of my origin. Now the line is perfectly in center. I'm gonna hit escape to exit midpoint command. Then we have to insert our picture. So I go to insert menu and choose canvas. Then I hit insert from computer, choose my image and press open. Fusion offer us three planes where we can put it. So we're gonna put it on the XY plane. Then we will have to stretch according to our needs. I'm gonna use this small line to stretch according to my needs. I'm gonna reposition my canvas with this square. Then I see that it has to be slightly rotate, let's say one degree, and we're gonna slightly reposition it again. And then I'm gonna click OK in the Edit Canvas menu. So as you can see, we have our picture, but let's say I wanna make it a little bit more transparent. On the left menu, I'm gonna choose my image. I'm gonna right click on it, and then I'm gonna choose Edit Canvas. And then I'm gonna choose Canvas Opacity 25, and I hit OK. Now we need to add construction line in the center of our sketch. For that, I'm gonna choose line. I'm gonna make sure construction ticked in our sketch palette options. And then I'm gonna draw a line in the middle. And I simply hit escape to exit line command. So now we need to make a shape of our sign. For that, I will choose fit point spline. I'm gonna untick construction and I'm gonna start drawing my sketch. Don't worry if you missed something, you can always adjust your sketch later. When we finish drawing, I will go on the checkbox and click once. Then I'm gonna hit escape to exit spline command. Now we have to adjust our sketch a little bit. Then I'm gonna mirror this part on the other side. For that, I'm gonna choose mirror. I'm gonna choose objects to mirror, which is our line in this case. Then I'm gonna choose mirror line and we're gonna choose our construction line in the middle. Then I simply hit OK. So now we have a closed sketch. I want to raise that point a little bit higher. So I just simply drag the point. So now I want my sketch to be a little bit smaller than the actual silver plate. For that, I'm gonna hit O for offset on my keyboard and I'm gonna choose my sketch. Then I'm gonna type in minus two to get minus two millimeters offset. And I simply hit okay. Then I'm gonna hit letter T to trim my old sketch and get rid 
of all unwanted parts. I'm gonna hit escape to exit trimming command. So now we need to add text in our sketch. For that I'm gonna choose text from the drop down menu create. Then I'm gonna define area where text will be placed. So let's say from here till here. Then I'm gonna enter text. In my case it's paper. In order for my text to be in the center, I'm gonna choose align middle and I'm gonna choose align center. I'm gonna choose Arial Black since it's a little bit more wide and I'm gonna hit OK. Basically our sketch ready. Now I simply hit finish sketch. I can hide canvas by pressing on the eyeball next to canvas. Then we need to extrude. For that I'm gonna choose extrude from the menu. I'm gonna choose our main sketch and extrude it 2 millimeters. I'm gonna hit OK. Now we need to activate our sketch one more time. For that I'm gonna click on the eyeball next to our sketch. Now we will have to extrude our words. For that I'm gonna hit extrude. I'm gonna hide the body that we have already and I'm gonna choose our word in order to extrude it. Then I'm gonna hit eyeball on the bodies again and I'm gonna choose face of our previous extruded sketch. Now you see that automatically fusion cuts word out of our body. So I'm gonna hit OK. As you can see our model almost ready. I'm gonna hide the sketches. To have more readable our model we can add some holders for the insides of our letters or we can simply select all of them, right click and remove. Then we're gonna have our word without the insides. Now all what we have to do is apply some fillet. I'm gonna click fillet. I'm gonna choose edge of my model and then I'm gonna type 1.5 millimeters and hit OK. Let's see together with canvas. So that's approximately how it's gonna look. Let's print it out. For that I'm gonna choose file, 3D print, click on my body and hit OK. So with 4 millimeters nozzle it will take us 20 minutes to print with the standard settings in Cura. Let's print it out and see how it fits. So as you can see it fits perfectly. For those who haven't subscribed please subscribe and have a great print.